Hello and welcome to chapter 205 of our streaming adventure. Today we have a Wii League and that's something that's going to be happening a lot more. I have, I decided uh, this on Sunday, wow it doesn't seem like, it seems so long ago and really not that long ago, but I decided because I had such a backlog of wheel leagues to do that now my Tuesday and Thursday are both going to be for the wheel. And I actually went as far as to spin a bunch in advance so that we can kind of know what's coming down the pipeline, if you will. And so today is Maverick. Then I have to verify. Oh, come on. One moment. I have to do my Gmail uh, two-factor identification. Sorry. I was just trying to quickly bring up my Google Sheet so that I could show that what the next one is supposed to be, but suddenly, I don't know, that became a chore. All right. This today... We're on stream number 205, and we're playing Maverick, okay? And then the idea will be, this coming Thursday, format Pioneer. I have not yet decided what the deck will be for Pioneer, but we will be playing Pioneer two days from now. Now, if you're watching, you know, on YouTube, by the way, check out the YouTube channel, old content there. Uh, just go find the next video, but by the time it's posted, right? So... Yeah, today is Maverick. Next is Pioneer. We have the fastest turtle in the West a week from today. And play a companion a week from Thursday. And then the part of the reason why I spun so many in advance is I want to kind of let the people that are going to come up on the wheel have time. Instead of having to give me the suggestion up front, and have it appear on the wheel as it spins and spins and spins. And by the time it comes, it's not relevant. By the way, I heard there's possibly a ban and restricted tomorrow. Take that as you may. Uh, instead of just having their idea spin and spin and spin, we'll have their name spin and spin and spin. And then when they come up, and I can say, Azrael Chimera, you owe me a stream or you, I need a topic from you to play on June 8th, you have some time to think about it, right? So instead of putting the idea on there, having it spin, and then maybe get stale, this way, I guess it, it, it lets the, the choices that come up be a little bit more fresh. So we'll try this for a while, see how it goes. Uh, I do feel good about purging the backlog i had at least everybody that was waiting to get on the wheel other than one right now everybody else is on the wheel so i do feel i feel pretty good about that that at least i'm going to be more timely right that i don't want it to feel like you're waiting around and not getting what you want with that said today is maverick uh, I went to MTG Goldfish's kind of aggregate for what does a Maverick list look like. And this list has basically all the top finishes in the last 30 days. It's multiple people playing the same list. So I said, okay. Uh, we look, we're going to have it to how I understand Maverick is basically a Green Sun Zenith Knight of the Reliquary deck. Uh, and then based on that, you're going to have green and white creatures trying to do toolboxy type effects. Uh, Knight of the Reliquary will be able to set up situations where you can maybe just wasteland your opponent right out of the game. 
Um, we have taxing effects with Thalia and Teague can mess with people. Stoneforge Mystic maybe suits you up some equipment. You go to town. Hex Drinker. Why not? Questing Beast. Of course. And then this version has a Black Splash because it wouldn't be an appropriate deck without a scrub land. And then Thoughtseize, Leyland out of the sideboard. You also have Prelates, Choke, and Path if you need a little bit more creature removal. So all that said, let's go hop into a league. Not a challenge. I would like to play a league, please. All right. First up. So they are double queuing in a draft league, and they've mulliganed. So hear me out. This doesn't necessarily look keepable, but at the same time, yeah, this can't be a keepable hand. Like, I'm like, haha, I can play Athalia and then wasteland them and further constrain their mana with Gadok Teague, but I'm not sure. The fact that these, like, what if they have a Krakus? I just get completely blown out. And having a second Thalia, if they never kill the first one, it's like I've already mulliganed. All right, here. So I would say, in general, the fact that we could lead with... I was going to say, we lead with Green Sun Zenith, so I have two mana going into the next turn... Okay, depending on what they do. Chalice on one. Cool. Should have should have kept the two mana hand, huh? <laughs> ah yes. I like how I shuffled away my answer. Eldrazi. I think I concede here. Because they won't know what I have. I mean, they're just going to take Stoneforge Mystic, right? I guess I have to draw out of it really quick. Because they're just going to attack for four, and if they play a Reality Smasher next turn, I'm really going to feel like I should not have shown them the information. Like, I assume Stoneforge Mystic goes. Because Stoneforge can get me a Batter Skull. As expected. I didn't mean I want to draw the Batter Skull.
planes. Okay, now we know they're white Eldrazi. As expected, here comes Reality Smash. Yeah, like that's why I don't, I really think I should not have shown them what I was playing. Because there's nothing I can do here. No two mana play, I'm just dead. All right, so we have Night of Autumn as an answer to Chalice, and that's it. Sanctum does not stop creatures, correct? Non-creature spells with mana cost equal, okay. Do I want... Path or... I'm just looking at what's here. I think Path or Thoughtseize are the only cards I'd even consider, truly. Uh, feels like Mother and Runes might get neutered by the colorless creatures. Um, collector Oof as well is probably questionable. Gadok Teague. I don't know. Do they play uh, All is Dust? They might. Like, I, I feel like there are more cards I want to go out than I actually want. Being on the play versus being on the draw would have been night and day in that matchup, obviously, because I would have been able to get the mana out first. Hmm. They are likely to have... We saw the white, so they're likely to have Thalia as well. I'm not sure about the thought season. I think Teague... Teague and Oof kind of feel safe to come out. Return of Forest. I think I'm just going to take the path to Exiles. I'm not going to take the Thought Seizes. Well, they saw, we saw a basic planes out of them, so now it makes me think I'd rather have the Thought Seize. I'm going to take Once Upon a Time out. For another thought sees. All right, so I have the potential to get things going here with turn one. I could also save that for a bigger turn later. But Mother of Ruins isn't necessarily going to do much. What's the more important turn? I think the more important turn one in play is turn one zero. It says flash. Maybe I should have had the Savannah in there. Basic planes from them. Okay. Hear me out. I was going to say Mother of Runes first. Because I assume what they are holding is Path. Okay. This can't cast anything currently, so might as well get in. Okay. 
Return a forest, untap target creature. Okay. Elite Spellbinder. I guess I'm glad I got Thalia going then. Probably. Okay. Mother Dearest costs three. Okay. Tap for two that, and then I can still screw him. Do I want to trade a ranger for a spell? Ha ha! Scrubland population? This guy. So. All right, so they know I'm still holding Scrubland. There are no valid dead targets. Another target creature. Okay. Mm. 
So if I shrink. If I shrink the human, then I can make scavenging ooze a three and swing in. If I shrink Eldrazi, no, I don't want him to blink that. Smasher, okay. Is there anything to eat? No. Show me a creature. Well, you're not going to play that one. Good call. Did not think about the flying. All right, they don't have too many more pumps out of this tomb. They play to planes. We know what's going to happen. Yeah, we just alpha strike. All right, so maybe I do want, I need, I want the removal, so I do want another pass. I am going to be on the draw this time, though, so maybe the thought seizes are worth. I could see, yeah, Mother Runes being the worst thing. I mean, he did... They did have swords. That's what took some two of my early creatures. But I think removal is more important than anything else. We can go down to one. Maybe a Sylvan Library. If my life total is somewhat safe, but it's probably not really safe all the time. So I've got, what, three Noble Hierarchs. Three Noble Hierarchs. Of I'm just wondering if I could once upon a time into something. Path is likely to give them, well, we know what to give them a basic planes. I think I'm willing to give this a shot because they are keeping seven. I'll keep seven. Turn one chalice. Sure. Bravo. Mm. 
They probably play Wasteland effects. They probably do. Elite Spellbinder. So the question is, do I cash in once upon a time here? Or I can either cash in or no. Let's see if they make me play once upon a time. Otherwise, I could, I could follow. I'm either going to have Scavenging Ooze or Jet. If they take ooze, I want to be able to play once upon a time. Hey, Slasher. <sighs> okay, so who's up first? Scavenging ooze. Or jet. I just blocked all the people that were incessantly chattering. All right, so green is more important. You actually were, so do I want basic? I don't, I'm not too worried about them doing stuff. It might be. No, thanks. The good news is that, oh, oh, we can cast. We could cast noble hierarchs like we're dead. We could cast noble hierarchs into our chalice just to eat them with scavenging ooze. That would be tricky. Yep, we're going to die to this idiot. Um, yeah, I'm just going to die. If I play a jet and throw a hierarch away, can I throw a hierarch away and eat it? Attack puts me at four. Next turn, I equip Jit. Attack. No, I'd have to block. I need to draw... I was going to I was going to say what I needed to draw was the death touch guy. But they can just waste yeah. Death touch guy doesn't matter anymore. Sure. No, we're dead. We we lose to Chalice of the Void twice. Bum bum bum. Chalice of the Void good against one drop dot deck. Why don't you think we were dead? 
We were at four, three in the air, first strike. So fetch arbor puts me down to three. I didn't think about this, but fetching an arbor puts me down to three. Block Thalia. Eat it. We would have had enough to go up to five. That would have given us a five, five. Block, trade, take three, be at two. Okay, so we would have had one more turn with only two land in play against five. We would have we would have had to have another chance to stop the flyer. But no, that's a good point, is we were not we were not dead yet. That's a good line that I did not see. All right, we can update. We were on the draw. And loss one loss. What were they? They were white. Ultrazi. Next match. On the draw again. All right. Turn one, turn two, turn three. I could get basic forest here. Ponder. I think I definitely get basic forest now. Ponder with a shuffle. Hear me out. Bird is better than Arbor. Well, also, not only that, we can look to toolboxes later. But that is definitely what I was questioning. What is Sprite Dragon? Is it a fairy dragon? That bird's so dead. Ponder. What does basic basic tell me other than my wastelands are not going to be good? So, we could deploy a Mother of Runes and Green Sun. We could save the Green Sun. I like saving second green source for later to, to save Questing Beast. I'm going to get Pyroclasmed so hard. Because you know they're playing Pyroclasm. Questing Beast says little guys can't block, right? Questing Beast can't be blocked by Power Throw Less. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking, no, this does work against True Name Nemesis, right? Combat damage dealt by creatures you control can't be prevented. All right. Snap, Bolt. Goodbye, Mother Runes. I'll allow it. All right.
do I need to play around days here? They had multiple chances to days and they didn't. Alternatively, what free drops could I get? I could get a Gadok Teague. I could get a Knight of the Reliquary, who is not large. We could get a Gadok Teague and protect it with Caracas. I ain't playing that one. Do I want Jit? I mean, I think I do. They yielded very fast there. I just noticed our opponent is one and three. So things might not be going the best for them today. Hear me out. Can I put it on Wizard? Well, they might have Delver. Brainstorm. If they're playing a wizard deck and I chose human instead, I'm going to feel foolish. Oh, hello. Grixis Basics. I now have less idea what's going on. Now, they're playing cool basics. I'll give them that. Like, I like this. Thing. 
What about that one? Take six. I I don't know. They have not played a not basic. Well, they played fetch lands. Fetch lands don't count. If you main, if you mind harness me, drown in the lock. Baleful Strix. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Volcanic Island alert. I'm going to say Snapcaster Bolt. There are no more, there's no more bolts in there. Now, here's a funny thing. <laughs> Do we need to get Teague killed so that I can play this green sun zenith? Yeah, that's true. So, what is better? Uh, okay, here comes something. Just kidding. I was going to say... I'm going to exalt my way in there. Two turn clock. Petty theft. You got me. I have been thefted. Cling to dust. Okay. Then a brainstorm. We're we're paying extra for all of this. I would have to assume Cling drew into the brainstorm. Because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to slam this beast right back down because any of these other ones can get blocked by Baleful Strix. That doesn't really seem like it buys me anything. If it's a creature, you gain life, otherwise draw a card. Hi, guys. Got the dogs joining me on stream. Hi. Hi. I can pet him, too. Okay, yes, you're very excited. Played an underground sea, so they do have two mana. Beast, attack, exalt, unblockable, go to five, 
Theoretically, Clinton to Dust could be flashed back on a Bird of Paradise for the life if needed. Yeah. I still think we're going to we're going to keep the defensive perimeter here. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we might just be dead. All right, so what is their loop going to be? World Gorger, not a legend, just a nightmare dragon. So they would be able to generate mana with Baleful Strix. They're going to generate drawing cards with... Yeah, there's no real... If they can get something else in play to, like, generate... Like, what's the... There's, like, a mill guy, right? Okay. Target player discards a card. And kill Thalia. I'm going to allow that. Just because I want to be able to, if in an emergency, Caracas needs to bounce something. Yep. So we'll yield to their triggers. Torment of Hailfire. Yeah, they play bolts. He said his his kill is Torment of Hailfire. But he also plays bolts, we know, because he already flashed one back with bolt. So he would get there. All right, so we lost the first one. Now, I guess I was going to say, do they have an answer to Leyline? But their answer to Leyline would be Petty Theft, which we already saw. Um, Sanctum Prelate could potentially mess them up. Mm, I mean, what, I put this on two? Like, I like the idea of Leyline, but that, I mean, it stops like a fast combo, I guess. I mean, I would say Choke feels good, but maybe it stops a lot of their early play, so maybe that is worthwhile. Um, Scavenging Ooze is a nice one. I think Gadok Teague did do some work there. Collector Oof, I don't think, is really going to stand up here. It does. <laughs> Collector Oof, unfortunately, does not turn off attacking and blocking of the Strix. 
Um, Plague Engineer is a way to turn off the Strix, and I would have been able to attack a little bit more. Night of Autumn. Yep, Night of Autumn. Mm, I would I would have to say I've never seen a card less impactful than Path to Exile here when our opponent has 73 bulls or 73 basics. Hex Drinker? I kind of feel like I need to come out fast, but they can almost fight that. Like, if it really comes down to all I am fighting is the dragon itself, then maybe Path is not as bad. I feel like Plague Engineer in general is going to be on the weaker side, so that's where I am right now. Pro Blue, get extra value. I think I'm going to take a Hex Drinker out for just another protection spell in Path. I think that's where we're going to go. Mm, we only get one of these paths. Or I should say one of these once upon a times, but we could potentially hit from it. I'm going to keep. Wow. Five cards, no land, which means what? Top. Had it. Had it the whole time. Um, I'm going to Savannah here. Now, maybe Batter Skull is not the greatest plan into the Colagon Command deck. If we get another chance. What are our lands? We have Wasteland. Took our swords. So they're probably setting up. Give me that. Give me that scavenging ooze. See, this is the thing is, if they end step in tomb here, I guess I just have to buy myself the turn. Force them to bolt me here instead. Let's 
Sedge more witch. Nice. I like it. All right, what do we take out? Okay. So we could we could green sun for the We could green sun for questing bees. An attack for five. So I like that his little guys can't block the questing bees. Do they die when the dragon blinks out? Does that count? I'm curious, because when they disappear, does that mean they die? Oh, has it changed? Is it more like phasing? Because I was like, that would be interesting, like, to get, like, life gain out of it or whatever would be a different tack on what they normally do. Hi, bud. We're going to get double bolt. Probably not. Fatal push. Okay. Force pitching a baleful strix to stop the night. Okay. They're going to slowly build their way up with these little pests. So I need to get the other half, I think.
I feel like there's a Kolagon's command over there. So I'm trying to bait it here. Move to combat. Snapcaster, fatal push. I was wondering, are they going to load all the way up? They'd have to trade everything they have, including the Snapcaster. So I could eat night to get to five. So do I want to trade that? Two damage to Stoneforge Mystic. Make me discard a card. That works too. I left it unprotected. All right, what are my lands situation? We already used the canopy. There's not really much in there. So they got Snapcaster back. I guess what's the the black mana feed the swarm feed the the single black mana that has the buyback if they do that again they could start to eat some of the land I have that could be problematic okay it's 
just a brainstorm. Brainstorm's good. Gets him a little dude. I think this is actually a pretty smart, if this is not their main plan, but to have this plan going. A bolt somewhere here. What's this red for? Oh, not the noble hierarch. Is our beast dead? Yes, it has been exiled. We got Teague. We got... We got too many more. Ooze is dead. Oh, it's not even in here. We took it out. Here it is. I'm looking for my silver bullet helpers, and it's not even in the deck anymore. I guess it's Knight of the Reliquary number four, right? What I still got left. Oh, yeah. Neither reliquary. Still had all these. Don't make me get another knight. Could we draw? Could we draw a sweet, sweet... Or we cut we cut the jet. All right, we did not cut the jet. Thank goodness. Human warlock. Well, I'm glad we selected human then. Plague engineer. First of all, how dare you? Are you going to name Knight? Okay. That was wrong. That was wrong. That was a flat out misclick. Bravo, Jeremy. Threw away a Stoneforge Mystic. Hmm. I can start getting some uh, wastelands. Oh, 
I did not need to throw away the knight. Although it doesn't really feel like it matters with the knight. But. Kolagon's command. Cool. Cool. Should have waited on it. I guess I wouldn't have played it. It would have left it in my deck. I get one of these through. If they make me discard this, it will grow my Knights of the Reliquary. That's my game plan here. Brilliant, brilliant game planning, by the way. Make them make me discard. See, all they really need to do is keep playing little cantrips and stuff. They gain their life back, and I smash into them. So they don't have enough to snap back and kill it. That was my plan there. Spell or an ability. Had a force of will. So they need to keep doing the thing where they play the spell. I'm trying to run them out of things to do. I think I needed to not sack. That's bad. Don't have like a lightning bolt.
I need to stay home so I can block the menace. Can currently double block. Really, they only need to, if they just wait to draw a spell, yeah, they're going to start to get. They're going to outpace me that way. I don't think I have life gain anywhere. I'd have to double block, double block. Find a way to sneak through one creature on my side, but they're going to gain life off the pests that die. So maybe last turn I needed to swing with knights to start to trim down. But they would have built right back up, so nothing there changes. I think the issue is going to be the difference between human and elemental is going to matter. Yeah, that didn't matter. I'm just worried about what am I going to get to Plague Engineer could Plague Engineer wipe their side at all? It could kill a human. Ooh, the Flusterstorm copies. That's a good one. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. I was going to go get a flyer, but that doesn't really seem to matter now. Yeah, they've got to have me overwhelmed now. One, two, three, four, five, eight. I have to double block both of these idiots. And then what they have over there is enough as well. Yep. Good enough. We're dead. I don't feel like playing anymore. All right. We potentially, like, I don't think we could have gotten them to time out just because all they ever had to really do was just attack us. You know what I mean? Like, they were set up. I think the Grixis Witch is a really powerful card. I don't know what to call that. That's, I'm going to call it Grixis. Eh, that was Grixis World Gorger. Witch. After Cyborg which I think is impressive, or I think is interesting anyway. All right. We want a die roll. And yes, I would like to play first. Last scene playing... The red, what do you call this? Chalice, whatever. Stompy, Moon Stompy. 
So basic. I got. I think I want to go basic forest. Get hex drinker going. I think that hurts me, but the fact I'm on the play here, if that's really what they end up being, I guess we'll find out. Basic forest, please. What say you? Ancient tomb, chalice on one. Accepted. Waste you. Power up. Go to town. Level three, here we come. Simeon Spirit Guide, Simeon Spirit Guide. Hex damage. Okay. That was a bit of mana. I was going to say, can we untap into a Knight of the Reliquary? Trinisphere? I concur. My dude's bigger than your deck. If I can get one more mana, we green sun for another night. One, sack it, two, three, four. Yeah. That works too. So Chalice is still here. We can blow up the Chalice with a Tutor. Unlocking Mother of Runes if I want Mother of Runes. Or... One, two, three... Pay X. You must at least pay three. Done. Give me another night. Yeah. Took It was taking a second there to uh, click through, but I knew what I was trying to do. All right. So... CMC. I guess the, the question is whether or not do they normally play. I got bring the list up. What does their list show? Chrome Mox. But. Fiery Confluence, Bone Crusher Giant, Maguses of the Moon. Like. 
I don't feel like this is a this is not a job for collector. I think is what I was trying to get to there. Um, really, only having one artifact destruction, and having it be Night of the Autumn, is thoroughly sketchy. I mean, maybe not, but. I don't think Sylvan Library is the right man for the job, but I think it has a use. And Sanctum turning off, not, and not being able to turn any of the creatures off, I don't think that's really what we're looking for. I think this might just be, and we'll keep the Hex Drinker. Who knows? We'll, we'll pump it 33 times. Collector Oof, you're on the bench. I just have to be mindful to actually play the Once Upon a Time. They all get a five. I guess basic forest is what we're looking for there, right? Then we can... Is this their accelerant? Imprinting. Hey, Log. How's it going? I am glad I chose Basic Forest. Uh, yikes. I'll get a Jit and play. I do not have many bait. Sugar Bear. Oh, hello. Had the removal. How nice. All right, can he stay alive? Do they have more removal for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's the back of this? I think they could kill me if they have the back hat. They had the shatter, okay. Hmm. 
Can I get a basic? Basic, basic. I mean, or I can't do anything about that. I really think the Rabble Master should have attacked somewhere. Yep, we're dead. We're dead. All right, we get to be on the play at least. Um, We have to prioritize basics is really what that comes down to. We could prelate to turn off. I guess. Still doesn't feel great. I really, I just, I don't think there's a lot good going on with this matchup. All right. First turn. Forest Noble Hierarch. Because that can go a lot of good ways, I think, yeah. Forest Noble Hierarch has a lot of good potential. Basic Forest. Don't kill my noble hierarch. Ooh. Please do not have pyroplasm. That'll really kind of ruin my day. <laughs> the old Thalia Green Sun Zenith combination. I can currently only Green Sun for two here. Yikes. Um, yikes. I can I can proactively get Plague Engineer out there, and I think that might be what I do. Ooh, ooh! All right, so I think it's this on Goblin. to stop their offense, that to slow them down, and this for the beats. Sorry, blocker step. Uh, 
Oh, they had three men of their own weight. Hanware Garrison. Okay. One, two, three, four. Create two one one. Attack for three. I feel like this is going okay, but I could be wrong. Destroy artifact enchantment. Sure. Okay. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Look at us getting a match win. All right. Wind feels good. Jump back in the pool. Update the stream details. This would be Moon Stompy. And that was a win-loss win. Oh, we're already back up and ready. Ooh, on the die roll again. What is going on? <clears throat> so, Plague Engineer, Wasteland, that's Quick Mulligan. They were last seen playing... Oops. No, is this oops? No, this is just I guess storm combo. Well, this ain't gonna beat that. And they mulligan to six. I like Thalia, so I'll keep this. Um This way I can lead Dryad Armor in case I somehow die and then I follow up with Thalia. Just to see, just in case this is going to happen to me. I'm not seeing a removal spell. Okay. Massacre in the sideboard. All right, next turn, we could deploy a Knight of the Reliquary if we want. It's a very tiny Knight of the Reliquary. Okay, they might not be playing what we thought they were playing.
That's not terrible, because we're going to be able to pick them off. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I think if there's anything here that's a problem, I think it's Hall of Heliod's generosity. So, Noble Hierarchy, baby. <laughs> we definitely are expecting the wrong thing. Scalding turn from them. Um, Dryad Arbor's already dead and gone. We could deploy another Noble Hierarch? That way they don't gain value off of the fairy cycle. At least that is my hope. The old end step pon end step ponders a pretty good one. I admit I was bamboozled. They tricked me. They tricked me good. See, like, what do opponents think I'm playing? Because, hell, I don't know what I'm playing. So here my thought was, oh, well, they'll cycle a shark, and then I'll just swords it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not how that works. Because they could end step Supreme Verdict here. Like that. And then our Dryad Arbor already gone. Bad news. I think we're just dead. We are dead to the blue, or just stand still. I mean, I can't break it if I wanted to. I have no targets. Got a shark. I don't even really want to do this. Can I give you three cards, please? Cool. Didn't expect it to work. Mm. I'll have a Teague. They probably have already drawn another one, so it doesn't truly matter, and they can just do that anyway.
Hey, at least I got chokes for this guy. Choke and uh, Sanctum Prelate will be a good one. Hey, I got a Gaddock Teague. Cool. Yeah, I don't I don't really want to play that match. Okay, so choke. Now we have to probably dodge Narset, but I'm willing to get some of the libraries. Thought Seize is not a terrible card to break a standstill because we're gonna get some options on what what they have for us. Um Questing Beast deals combat damage. I get to double shot a planeswalker? Okay. I think for the most part these swords are gonna be weak. I feel like Mother of Runes is also kind of weak. I think Jit's probably weaker than a Mother of Runes. Batter Skull could still be... No, we want Prelates in, right? We want Prelates in. Like, they're just, they're going to play a shark, and I'm going to have to just die to it. Why am I not playing Skyclave Apparition? That card's actually good, as opposed to what's in this deck. We also don't have, like, a cavern or anything. I have like a sampler platter. They mulligan. So basic forest noble. Do I need, am I worried about basics? I don't think so. I say that before they play back to basics here, I'm sure. Swords. Aha! I'm clever. Brazen Borrower, Jace, or Supreme Verdict. So, why do I always think these are hurting my opponent? Now I means I cannot play my own batter skull. So I'm sure they'll draw something in the meantime. See? Never fails. Brainstorm hiding on top of the deck. Always makes decks better than those that cast thoughts. Non-creature spells with mana value equal to... Okay.
Yeah, that's that's where I was thinking with that one. So now this name's four. How about this one? They could cycle into If they would have cycled the shark, they could only get it to be a 3-3. Three, three. No, we're keeping Thalia home. I don't see the need to deploy Thalia. There's obviously something they want. Show me the four power shark. See? That's why we didn't an attack with the prelate. Big brain. Now hear me out. We can put the batter skull on the prelate and just go to town. That would have been the best there. Okay. Really? So they have two cards in hand. They have Jace and Supreme Verdict. Hold on, we need the we need the oracle wording on questing beast. Vigilance, death touch, haste. Questing be beast deals combat damage to an opponent, deals that much to target planeswalker. Alright, we got a winner. They won't, e they won't even let me go get it. It's just going to be the questing beast. Just a, just a little questing beast, man. It's cool. It's cool. Somehow, that, I mean, that worked. Let's do that again. We were on the play, though. That might have been key. Speaking of... Yeah, let's roll. Now, it's possible... <clears throat> yeah, these wastelands... In the matchups we've played, these these wastelands have been kind of stinky. They did not shuffle. That is interesting. I mean, am I supposed to? 
I think so. Because they theoretically can't play everything out here that they want to. Hmm. This is interesting whether... Because if I deploy prelate here... I almost sent Dryad Arbor, but that's why I didn't send Dryad Arbor. See, maybe this should have been four. Council's Judgment. They voted for Prelate. I will vote for See, they are just sitting on a four mana spell, obviously, then. They just have a wrath here. I guess we could make them play it. Yeah. I'm willing to trade that one. Goodbye. Can I make you spend a counter spell? Oh, that was worth a shot. I wish there was something to punish basics, but I mean, isn't that the point? Is that they're doing the effort to have the basics? We probably shouldn't punish them.
So end step wrath here. Maybe not. Not restricting them with Thalia is probably bad. Because then they'll be able to play multiple spells here. Okay. Bounce? No. Yeah, Scrib Ranger. Oh ho ho! I'm a Scrib Ranger. Betcha, betcha weren't considering that one. I bet that one wasn't on the radar. Uh, blocks. Pro blue. That's a pro blue. Roger. Petty theft. Got it. You're about to get wrath, you dummy, you big stupid dummy. Why did you do that? I was like, aha, I'll come back here and deploy everything. And it's just like, no, 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 no. Cheers to your wrath. I'll block that guy. Oh, shocker. Shocking. Shocking. You know what? YOLO. You got any? You got anything for this idiot? You didn't leave a white up. Yeah, we're done playing. Bum, bum, bum. There is a reason I don't like decks like this. I don't think they are any good. Um... I just, I think this kind of deck is just drastically underpowered. Like, even, okay, even Death and Taxes, right? I don't like that deck either. But Death and Taxes has Aether Vial that generates so much value, instant, uncounterable creatures, and things like that. Uh, your taxing effects your port and wasteland, it's a little bit more effective with your Thalia. Flicker Wisp messing with people. What's the other card? Skyclave Apparitions. The fact that Sky... I got water all over my glasses. Skyclave Apparition. For a white card... It's a hell of a white card, I'll tell you what. I don't really like the white card so much, but... Skyclave Apparition is like an honorary blue card with how much of a white card it is. 
So I just I you have to have a tremendously good reason to not play blue cards. Specifically brainstorm and ponder in legacy and this ain't it. I just I I I, I try, I don't want to be, I would say, I try to not to be negative. That ain't true. Because I, I am certainly very negative a lot of the time. Um, I try not to be negative without cause. Is that, is that even true? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of true. Um I, there are certain things that I kind of have myself hardwired to be. Now, that, that's why when I played Green Black Depths on Sunday, I was like, oh, well, I'm trying this, but I'm not going to like it because it doesn't have blue cards. I feel like it went surprisingly well, or it was enough that I was really interested in that, and I want to play more of it. So that's one where I actively don't have blue in it and i still think that it's good so take that as you will i'm gonna keep this so once upon a time can try to get me a land wait they're down to five cards already maybe this Yeah, I think so. They've mulliganed all the way down to five. I'm kind of curious what the basic forest are they elves? They're a green sun zenith deck? Okay. What are my choices? Scavenging Ooze, Wasteland. The Wasteland's interesting. The Scavenging Ooze might end up being powerful. I kind of want to go Savannah green sun so that next turn i can deploy mother of runes and so does that mean i want the inevitable creature here i do like having wasteland be a removal spell like waste your dryad arbor and swords a guy yeah i like that so we're gonna take wasteland and then I'm going to play Savannah Green Sun for that Dryad Arbor. And relish in the fact that we're up so many cards. Okay, things changed. Things changed quickly. So this might just be a basic mirror. Kept one car. Ooh, is this green-white depths? Or it could just be 
a toolboxy land package for all I know. I mean, they did mulligan light. Okay. Yeah, this could just be green-white depths. So now my thoughts are... Thank you for your contributions. You cannot currently, okay. Well, that makes me even more want to just get certain things off the board. Put some pressure on their life total. That's one card. Okay. I have the feeling they have crop rotation as one of their choices, and they still have crop. Oh, Reclaimer. Okay. This is a crop rotation. No. Okay. Protecting it. That makes sense. So my Dried Arbor is already in play. My Teague is here. I don't have enough mana to take that out. Can I get... If I got Jet, Jet's not going to come online fast enough. Because they two, they might be close. They, if they had another land, they could convert and then eat it. Okay. So they're not that far away. I need, if I could get another land, I could green sun into the Scrib Sprite, which is what I need. I need the Scrib Sprite. Sprite, Scrib Ranger. And then I could give it Pro Black to play defense against the Merit Lage. Other plan is can I find, I could just green sun for a bird of paradise and do the pro black on that. And that also technically works. Right, Sirius? That's what Sirius said. He has showed up to the stream, sniffing away. Leave me alone, bud. All right. I will accept drawing, what do you call it? So it wasn't that, but
I don't know. Would they also play? What do you call it? Is this Birds of Paradise for the win? I I know my answer is no, but. <clears throat> I accept that you have a Dark Depths. I accept that you have a 2020. I would really like to get to the point where I can declare blocks. That is what we are hoping to do, is to declare blocks today. Okay. Yep, that sucks for me. You can give your guy pro green by chance. Okay. So they had it. That's the question is, were they going to be able to give their preacher protection? Answer is yeah, so we did. Can I gain life somehow? No. See, I guess if if you're gonna if you're gonna dirtle around playing green white cards, just kill your opponent. Like, do that part very quickly. So I think I'm gonna bring this in. Collector Oof continues to show its power. Prelate, no. Plague Engineer feels underwhelming. I'm going to go like that. Now, my sideboarding is probably not, you know, A tier or anything like that, but I maybe am slanted against this deck in some way, and that's some of my bias showing. You know, I don't think this deck is good in the first place, so am I not playing it up to the fullest extent that it is capable. I would say I'm not. But, like, okay, to a degree, is it better that I try different decks even if I don't like them? Or should I only sit in my bubble and play the decks that I like? Uh, if I didn't try other, what I like to play first, yes. If I didn't try other things, I'm going to keep running into the same crap. I will keep this. And I feel like I'm putting myself at a disadvantage if I do that. All right, so once upon a time. So I think, like, we wouldn't have tried the Green Black Depth deck and we wouldn't have liked it as much as we did. Okay, so What are they going to have for me by way of removal or whatever? If I go for a quick knight here, is that smart? Or do I play out a Thalia for protection? I mean, I like the fact they didn't use that bog. Yikes. Another Savannah.
And now we're gonna get a little hex drinky beat down. Nobody calls it hex drinky. They don't. I checked. It's not a thing. I draw these a lot. Um I could attempt to path their creature, and all I would do is give them a land, which is kind of funny. I have achieved level one. I'm fine with that so far. I need another land for this green sun to start to do kind of anything. But if I hit another land, I get to get night going, which I am interested in. This is scary. Because I think I might just be dead to that. How do I beat, Ra How do I beat Ramunap Excavator? Uh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Dryad Arbor. I forgot you were also a land. Their deck is so much better than ours. It's, it's honestly somewhat upsetting. Do not play another one. YOLO. They'll be like, uh, oh, pay eight. Keep ramming up home. Bog you. Oh, that's even better. All right, hold on. So as much as I thought green black depths was cool, I think this deck is cooler because Swords to Plowshares is likely better than some of your other options yeah that deck like this is the deck lynn chalice lynn chalice great player if that's the deck that they've been playing maybe that's maybe that's where we need to go i just i love myself a ramunap excavator not gonna lie and maybe that's a lot of it why didn't you bajuka bog me? You could have you could have bogged me like a champ. Abrupt decay? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, I'm done playing. Yeah, I like <laughs> I like our opponent's deck way better than whatever we were trying to do today. Um so that was definitely green white depths with potentially sideboard abrupt decay question mark higher exclamation point so yeah i did not have high expectations coming in and i do believe to a degree that jades the way i play so that might be something. Do we look at? I don't want to necessarily constrict what is allowed to be on the wheel because there are sometimes suboptimal does end up being fun. But I think there are certain styles of play that I just don't like. And I just, I don't think they're good. And I, 
I'm stubborn in a way that the only person that can ever convince me of something is me. And anecdotal, anything else, literally doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter who the expert is. I, I'm i the only one that can convince myself of anything. Um, which is certainly a weakness. But... I'm not necessarily, <laughs> I'm not really going to work on it. I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah, so maybe that's just bad. So, oh well. Today did not go well. But next up, two days from now, we will be playing Pioneer. Maybe we can find something fun to do in Pioneer. And we'll go with that. That, you know, maybe we can go a little crazy. Cool bug list I built in paper you're planning on playing once your locals start again. I'd be interested. Axe, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, I'm also on Discord. You can let me know your list there. I would be interested in what it looks like because bug colors, I think, are pretty cool. And thanks for reminding me. Exclamation point Discord. Here you can find where I put all of my J Pinter MTG streaming stuff all together. That's a good way to kind of join the conversation. And also exclamation point YouTube. That is where I take my streams later and I try to edit it as well. I used to chop it all up and edit it. Now I kind of put it in a lump sum video with tags along the way. So let me know what you guys think of those. And like I said, Axe, reach out to me. If you're not already following the stream, follow the stream. That's a good way to support us. If you like what you saw today, I don't really know why, because this one wasn't great. But sometimes maybe things would be great. And if you have Amazon Prime, that means you already have Twitch Prime Gaming. If you aren't using it anywhere else, consider using it here. And I'll buy some Dr. Pepper. Anything I make goes right back into the stream, because sometimes links blocked in twitch it shouldn't necessarily be but it might be doing something like if you're not following the stream or something like that so like i said try to find me on twitter jpinter mtg and go ahead and drop it to me there yeah there we go cool well all right everybody thanks for hanging out with me today i really do appreciate it as always and we'll see you in a couple days when we're back here on thursday all right. Have a great night. We'll see you next time.